Good morning. So, it still hasn't stopped raining. It's been like well over 24 hours, I swear. So last night I stopped filming after I did that story on the robot, so I didn't really film anything else. But we went down to Lake Ontario and I knew it was going to be pretty crazy. There were winds up to 70k, so that's pretty quick. So we went down there and uh, the waves were unbelievable. We used to go surfing in Lake Ontario because you're actually able to surf some of the waves on occasion. Most of the time it's in the fall. That's when the waves are the best, so it's kind of getting cold at that point, but you got a nice thick wetsuit on and everything. But last night, the waves were massive. They probably weren't surfable because there were way too many. The periods were too short. But I didn't really film anything. I got, I wanted to take some pictures. The rain was coming in so hard, I got completely drenched. There's no way I was able to have any cameras out or anything like that. It just stopped and it was just like an unbelievable sight. I absolutely love crazy weather. It's like a surreal feeling when you see the waves. They're coming up over the the barrier wall because there's a channel there where the bridge there's a drawbridge and there's a channel for boats to go through they were coming up over that so normally you could walk on that i think i've had a video where i was down there before the waves were coming up and they were just like you would have just got pushed right into the water so i didn't really get i think i got one picture i might post it on instagram but it was just like way too wet i just absolutely love the weather i did get a short maybe 10 second video before my camera got drenched of the waves. I will post that now, but let's get on with the rest of the day. Okay, let's go. Where's the Jag? No, I'm just kidding. My friend Graham came by today, wanted to drive it, so he's taking it for now. I'm taking the beast. I love this truck. I pretty much learned to drive in this vehicle. Well, not this specific one. This is the second one. The original one we had was my grandpa's, and he bought it brand new in 88. And he used to tow an Airstream trailer. And so there's like a, a picture of this truck with the Airstream connected to it. So that vehicle, with lots of vehicles in Ontario, it became very rusted out. The body was terrible. It still ran okay, but it just, the body was too bad. My mom went looking for another one and she happened to find a Kijiji post about this truck and the Kijiji post was saying 88 Suburban, the exact same one, basically everything was the same except for there, ours had a bench seat and this one has the individual buckets. With everything being the same it was kind of interesting, the Suburban was for sale somewhere up north and when she went to go meet the guy he had apparently also bought the vehicle brand new in 88 but I'm pretty sure it was from the exact same dealership and it's funny because my grandpa wanted the bucket seats but the one that was available was taken from someone just before he got there and this old guy had almost the identical picture of his Suburban towing an Airstream trailer. So these could have been purchased moments from each other, but the two people who purchased them went their own directions and never met. It's kind of funny. 
The other reason why I love this truck, I mean aside from basically growing up in it, probably the first vehicle I ever drove when my grandpa let me drive it, and being the vehicle that I learned to drive on, aside from all those other things, I also took it on a 5,000 mile trip across the U.S. from Ontario to L.A., San Francisco, and then Seattle and back. And I lived out of the back of it for a few weeks. It was a week and a bit. Two weeks, maybe. And I talk about it briefly on one of the previous vlogs. You should check it out. I put some of the footage in it. I planned to make a movie, but I didn't. I talk about that there. But yeah, this truck, these trucks, the two of them, I consider them the same thing. I love them. Hey, buddy. Hey, there's someone new. <laughs> someone new. Hey, hey, person. What's his name? Guinness. Hmm? Guinness. So there's a pretty serious ring around the moon right now because of the clouds. I'm going to see if I can set up some sort of time lapse. There's like a 80% chance that it won't work out. Actually this could look pretty cool. It's going to get really dark. So that was a very productive Sunday, got a lot of stuff done, a lot of things I wanted to do, and uh, yeah, the moon looks so cool there. I'm glad I have those extra features on this camera, because I would not have been able to capture that, or would have, no, I wouldn't have been able to, because the other way I would have done it also uses Magic Lantern. So that setting is a frames per second override. Let me explain this real quick. There's video mode where it films video and it can go down to 30 frames a second which lets that much light in every second. It takes a capture of the sensor and then it starts a new frame. So the FPS override on Magic Lantern you can take that 30 frames and you can mimic a I think all the way down to like 0.1 frames a second but for simplicity let's say well in this case I brought it down to one frame a second so now you've got one frame a second recording at 30 frames a second so every 30 seconds is one second of video what that allows is way more light to enter the sensor each frame so you can have a lower ISO but you can't have regular speed filming so it works great with time lapses I don't even have to edit that time lapse it's pre-edited inside the camera really cool feature I'd say look into it if you have one of these cameras because you can do some really interesting things by allowing more light there is another way you can do it by using an interval interval meter <laughs> can't talk 
where that would just automatically take pictures every so often and that way you can have the shutter open for as long as you want. But it doesn't automatically mix them, automatically mix them and it will take up way more space in your card. This only takes up 30 seconds of 1080p video. So that's how I did that. I like explaining things sometimes. Maybe people find it interesting. But I think that's it for tonight. Took the truck out, the Jag's back out there. It's gotta go back tomorrow, picking up another car. So, anyways, good night, be good.